Hey there, I wanted to show off some of the new stuff in Statimic 2.7. Uh, the most notable of which is a complete control panel facelift. It's not necessarily a redesign in the sense that things are in a new place and there's new a new UX or anything, but it's just giving it a real fresh uh, a look and kind of a modern interface. So we're looking at 2.6 right here. Um, just click around a little bit, kind of get you a feel for what 2.6 look like. And then we come over to 2.7 and it's quite a bit cleaner, just a lot more open, a lot more consistency throughout the UI. Uh, and really work through every single field type, every single little pixel. And I mean, nothing's ever perfect, right? But it's really, really tight and uh, really nice. Okay, so that's like the most obvious and noticeable thing. Uh, next is uh, a feature we added in the replicator field type. So if we come in here and take a look at the replicator, we now have previews for the data that's inside each set. So as you're creating uh, new content blocks, and uh, you want to like rearrange and reorder these things, it's now easy to tell which one is which before you just had the field name. So that's a big usability upgrade. Uh, also, Live Preview now has a resizable uh, pane, which is really nice. Uh, before it was kind of fixed right about here. Now you can you know go nice and wide and really see what that site looks like and not get kind of squished over here. Uh, we also have a new... Uh, feature with our field sets, which is um, uh, called conditional fields, which lets you show or hide fields based on the value of other fields, which is super powerful uh, if you want to take the time to configure that to really kind of guide your users. So uh, like on a simple level, I'll show what that looks like. Uh, in this entry here, you can, had, uh, you can use the new revealer button and let's just do this with like a new a new entry, right? So we've got like example entry. My caps lock is on, that's fun. Uh, I've hidden two fields underneath this one. So now you can have this whole block of stuff come out, which can really let you collapse your, uh, your fields without having to use a replicator to kind of tailor that experience. So that is really nice. Uh, markdown fields now have full screen mode. So you can come in here and uh, woo, type out to your heart's content. And uh, entries and pages now are duplicatable. So if you've got an entry here, you can do duplicate and create a new entry based off the last one. Another nice feature, uh, which is uh, for those who like to manage content in the file system as well. So if I had uh, summer, let's go to this this entry, right? Let's come back. I'm just doing this all on the fly. Um, if we duplicate this, okay, if we do not, if we, yeah, we'll just clear the content and we leave this ID the same, Statimic needs a unique ID for every entry and page and bit of content. That way we can create um, links and URLs and relationships without having to worry about breaking URLs, which is cool and breaking links on the front end of your site. So if I save this, yeah, let's call it spring, just so we're, we're clear here. Uh, we would now have two entries with the same ID, which uh, can cause a problem because the the key in our, our file cache is that ID. So Statimic would be confused as far as which one to load, and it would either load the wrong one or it might throw an exception, which uh, if you know you just did this on the fly in production, you may actually see your site like throw an error, which is not great. So now we have this new section that pops up the control panel and creates a duplicate ID resolver. So this is the new one. We can say, let's make a new ID for that, and we're off and going. It'll also prevent your site from uh, from throwing any errors so that your site will never go down. We also added a fun little thing behind the scenes, uh, which I call the kitchen sink, which is a field set that has all of the field types pre-configured. So you can see basically just an example of, of their usage. And if you had a page, like we'll just go, I usually use the, uh, the about page for this. You come in, change your field set to kitchen and go to the about page. And you can now see all of the field types and what they look like and how they work and, and all of that. So you can 
uh, get a quick example of how those, all those things work. Um, all the way down, assets, all that stuff. And those are just a few of the changes. We really hope you like it.